Hi folks, welcome to another video from Biomedical Training Videos. In this video we're looking at the Exogen Temporal Thermometer. That's the rear view. This is showing how it's used clinically. GE also rebadged it for some of their vital signs monitors. And there's a corded version. There's some basic specifications. As you can see it's quite an accurate unit with a good battery life. So we're going to look at disassembling and replacing the case in this video. So there's three screws, one at the top and two at the bottom. The top one's sometimes covered by a sticker. So just the hex key to remove the two lower screws and the case comes apart. And it's these two metal plates that fall out so you've got to be careful. And there's a temperature selector switch there to be careful of as well. So once the case is opened there's four self-tapping screws to remove. And the detector is held in with this little plastic plastic tube. In this case you can see the case is cracked and also the back case is also cracked. So once those screws are out that's the circuit board. So the new case doesn't come with all the pieces you need so you have to take some from the old case. There's that little plastic tube. Then there's the push button at the top and the metal clip at the bottom. It's kind of a key ring kind of thing. That's just a close up of the detector showing the wires. So when you put that together, be careful not to pinch it in that plastic tube. So first you put that bottom plate in. Then you put the rear case on. Then you set that top plate on the top edge there. And the screws lock that in place. The battery holder goes in. A bit of foam on the door just to hold the battery in place. And it's all done. Now verification. There's a kit with a reference unit and a source so you keep those together and the idea is that you compare your test unit against the reference unit. So this is the portable device for calibrating and that shows you how you place it in the unit. So you take a couple of readings and take an average. This is using a reference unit. And then you use the unit you've just put it back together. Do the same thing, take a couple of readings and compare the two. So as you can see our reference and our test units are within point 0.2 which is the spec. The manual lists some error codes as well. Okay then, see you again next time.